right so today we are going to see a design and analysis of staircase with this supported on the one pillar so for that we have to go to our start for software So we have opened our software right so go to new project on space on ok and finish So we have opened our start for software, right? So you go to edit, click on exit plane, click on OK. So now uh, we are going to select our node point. So we are selecting of uh, one meter, right? Now go so deselect the mesh right so I'll select the mesh now go to the node cursor select this node point go to translation and repeat of y direction and of 3 meters and click on link steps and ok so now we can go here So uh, now this one. So we will select again. Go to our node cursor. So copy this one. Home copy and again paste nodes. This is about the direction we are moving. So the direction of five meters. Click on OK. Now select this node point. Go to translation and repeat Y and of 3 meters go to link steps and ok so again go to this and select the node points select the beam and here you can have the insert node or you can go to right click go to insert node select the midpoint and ok so now we need to add the stair right so for this we need another node point over here so go to this node cursor select our node point and control c copy and control v paste about z axis of one meter okay so now we will add the four node plate over here so one two three and four so right so now we will add a beam right So we have added our beam. So now we will add our landing over here. So for that, select this both node points, copy and paste about x axis of 1 meter. So call OK. Now go to nodal plate, format plate. Add these plates right. So we'll go to add beams. So you can add a beams like this, right? So we have added our beams, right? So now again go to the cursor and select these two node points by pressing control. So now again copy this one and paste about the direction of so here we don't require the z direction right so we need to add this node points right copy and paste z direction of minus one or
so now again select this node browser copy and paste about x direction of one meters call ok so now go to add wing command select this one remove this one so now go to a plate node plate cursor for node plate select the plates we have added our plates right so now we have added our this and now we will add a beam over here right so for this and this so we have connected this column to this beams right so now go to general go to support and go to front view now go to support create add select the support and select by pressing control add all the support points right so now go to assign and this so we have assigned our supports now it's time for our property right go to property go to define so i'm taking the rectangle of 0.45 by 0.4 right click on add and for the beams 0.3 by 0.3 5 in this 3 5 call add and the short column we will take this as 0.3 and close so now for this this is for the column so we will select use parallel to y direction and assign the selected beams and assign select this one and select this beam assign and s now select this one go to thickness i'm going to add thickness of 0 0.2 add and close assign to view assign and s now select this one go to select select the missing attributes or missing properties now assign and s we go to 3d so here we can see the structure right so we will take this one as also the lower one because the self weight will be more right so this is this one so this is we want to delete select this one and then select missing attributes so in the select attributes as a boss. So here now we can see it has SN right. So it's time for the loading. Go to load, load cases, add, take the date load and then live load plus go to date load, click on add, add the sulfate, go to the number load, so here we can take as calculated values right so 0 0.45 into 0 0.4 into 25 how much it is 4.5 minus 4.5 add so next you can see over it is added or not right so go to calculator now go to the next 0 0.35 so now this and 0 0.3 into 25 it is 2.25 then add now we're going to take this up plate loads it has 0 0.2 into 25 it is 5 right then add and close now go to self rate assign to view assign and close Select this one, so this is for the beam, it's a column. So you select this one, I want to select the beams, I sign it as select this one, go to select beams X, beams Z. And select the beams, I sign it as now select this one. This is for the plates, right? I sign to assign it as go to live load. Add, we're going to take the 
split load of this 3 or 3 y ladder select this one and come out of the side so this one and this one right so we need to select you can see the loading condition right so now uh, we add the materials go to concrete assign to view assign items. we have done all this so it's time for the analysis and everything so now we will go to analysis add close analysis and run analysis and we are done with zero let's now go to post passing click on done on ok so here we can now go to plate and is absolute click on ok this is due to dead load and this is due to live load so now we will see the animation so here we can see there is no deflection of anywhere so here we can see it is deflecting over here due to live load and this digital dead load right so if you go to beams so here we can see all the shear forces bending moment over here right so now uh, it's time for the design go to design on concrete select this as 456 select parameters now we're going to select this as fi the main so new mental bar combinations and see the color cave different parameters so we will take the fcs m20 and fy main as 415 and fy sectional as also 415 and main dynamics so main bar size bar combination is 16 and animate bar for this is top bar so we have to find the parameters right so now i will go to commands design beam add design column add design slab add and take off add and close so now here we can see we can we have to add all this to this so we assign to view assign and s if I main assign to view, assign and S. If I sectional assign to view, assign and S. So the main directional assign to view, assign and S. MD2, the main dimensional bars, design beams, so this for the beams. So go to select beams parallel to X and beams parallel to Z. So click on assign to assign, design columns, select beams parallel to Y. Assign and S. Design element assign to view. Assign and S. So we are done with our designing part. And we have implemented all this to our structure. Now go to analysis, add and close. Go to analysis and run analysis and save. So it will run design analysis, right? So we are done with our zero. Let's now go to post passing, click on okay again go to animation reflection and ok so in the same reflection then go to plates as your absolute <coughs> on ok and again go to plate stresses as your absolute or we will select as your absolute animations and stress and ok so this is the stress distribution right go to dead loads and this is total live loads so if you go to beams, so if you select any beams, you will get the concrete design. <coughs> now for our columns, so this is the concrete design for our column, right? We have deflection, shear bending and loading values. For this right, so we have the stresses, we got dirt and we have grab forces and the graphs for this right. So here we can see we select 
anything so that the graph will change so in this beam for these beams you have to select this place there is nothing so right this is how we can do a modeling and analysis of one column states in our start box thank you so if we see this in 3d so it will look like this right